guess who has a camera back? Whee! I'm so happy. Um, okay. Well, now that I can um, edit the videos, you won't be moaning that I'm messing up for your page. Right, starting with uh, Mr. Lane. I completely agree with you, the whole uh, Dr. Footballer thing. I mean, it's ridiculous, just like how much money they get paid, but you've all said that, so I'm not going to go into it. Um, just the, the fact that I read in some magazine, whether it's true or not, um, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Uh, is it Jay, Go Jay Goody that's getting married or some other silly celebrity person and she's getting paid like £70,000 for photos of her wedding? I mean there's thousand endless facts of these, of them ridiculous amount of money um, celebrities get paid for their photos and interviews and what not. I was working in an, in an arena this Wednesday, like they do like ice skating shows and stuff and I was just working behind a bar basically. And on the intervals we were selling um ice cream tubs are about about this big. Two fifty. I was like, Whoa, I don't even know how people like would buy that because like, I wouldn't. It's like a uh, rum I suppose. Came up to me and she was like, Can I have eight tubs tubs of ice cream? I was like, Yeah of course. Can it last twenty pounds please? I mean, like, £20 for ice cream. Adam, um, yeah, con congrats on your, on getting to both unis, but for sheer, but for sure. And we just, what were you thinking? Tell me. Okay, moving on to Dan, Daniel. Um, working hard to earn more money. Yeah, I think I can agree with you on that. I think people should be allowed to earn as much money as they can, as long as they work enough for it. But I just don't think that's happening in many places. I think that if people get a lot of money, it is not because they're working hard, but because they have the power to, or they're in a position to just give themselves money. And an example would be footballers, like you all said. I can't believe you all agree that people should be killed. I don't. I can't believe you actually believe in the death penalty. I think that's that's ridiculous. I think my idea of sending prisoners to space is much more. Um, it's better. It's just it's just so inhumane that you would wish someone to be killed. I don't think I would be able to live knowing that I've been responsible for someone's death. Um, I think reformation is good. I never said they shouldn't be allowed to reform because that's the best way to spend sort of your time locked up. Um, and I don't, I, do, I never said that I don't think they should get any education. I, I just found it, um, unfair that they would be able to, sort of, commit a crime, and a very serious one I'm talking about, and sort of come out with a degree. But I never said they shouldn't be educated, because like you said, they will just become more bitter and bitter and hate society even more. Um, I really like your video. I don't know why you say it was boring. I thought it was really cool. Um, Sam looked really like shocked at the camera. He looked at you when you said this is Sam. He was like, Ah, will you please just stop shouting at cows? Seriously, it's not nice. G Scad is all yours officially. Uh, I'm sure you're very happy about that. It depends what cinema you go to. Like to be honest, because. Uh, in London, I think the prices are ridiculous, but that might be because it's London. In our local um, cinema world, what, 550 is it now? Which is so... I mean, that's a student price, I think. Yeah, I think that's way too much, but here in the Odeon over here, with your student card, it's £3.50 for a ticket, any time you want, any, any film you want to see. So I think that's the more reasonable um, price for a ticket. I'm happy to pay that. I see where you're coming from, Owen, by saying that uh, they probably have to charge that much money because the films uh, are very expensive to make and the celebrities get paid ridiculous um, wages. Um, but I don't think, I mean, they're, they're expensive because they want to be expensive, they're expensive because they can afford to be expensive. So the fact that they charge so much for the cinema ticket, I think, is a rip-off and uh, yes in that sense I do think the cinema is expensive I'm not trying to generalise or anything but Hollywood charges too much money because they're simply greedy not because they need it not because they they've worked hard for it oh yeah like I said um, 
with the whole ice cream thing where I worked on Wednesday, um, people might just go to the cinema and be like, oh, you know, it's five pounds, six pounds, whatever. So they might not go to cinema that much, and they might just get popcorn and things to so they might spend twelve pounds on a, on a, just to see a film, which I think is way too much money. I mean, I don't think I would ever do that, but it's because they don't. They might not go to cinema that much. And um, and, and like I said with the ice cream stuff, I don't think they realise that by maybe just spending that little bit more money, even um, they are encouraging um, producers and uh, and exhibitors to just be able to charge more and more money. And cinema tickets are going up, so um, even though you might think, oh, it's only once once every two weeks that I go to the cinema, or once every month that I spend twelve pounds at the cinema, or six pounds or seven pounds, it adds up. And I just don't think um, audiences realise that they're actually encouraging um, big people behind the whole um, film world to just keep on charging more and more money. Uh, Owen, um, I loved your entrance. You're so cool. Dan said we're a very, we're a pretty socialist country, um, and he gave examples of the NHS and the transport. But like even though it's privately owned, it's still working pretty well. And you said we're pretty much a capitalist country. Um, I don't really know what to think. Um, the Euro conspiracy theory that Adam was well sort of mentioned. Um, I don't think it, it, there is any sort of, you know, I don't think, I don't think they actually <laughs> uh, encourage, uh, sort of the government encourage, uh, sort of use the credit crunch to convert um, the UK to the Euro or to try and show the, public, the people here that the Euro might actually help us. If they have... On the other hand, this country is really messed up, and I would consider you moved. And in your little request of um, showing you something that has a story behind it, first thing I'm going to show you is this banana. This banana I only got yesterday, and um, fair trade, even though I don't really know what that means anymore. Oh god, this banana. It's on its way to make a banoffee pie. This bottle of the cheaper version of Self and Comfort, which I've not had for long, maybe like a couple of weeks, but I kind of missed it the last couple of days because it was stolen from my room. But I've got it back, so I'm very happy about that. Third thing, this is my pet cat, which also serves as a door stopper because my door slams every time you open a it, which is very annoying. It doesn't have a name because Pusha, my, my, my cat, would get jealous. But, um, yeah, we haven't been together for very long, but um, we've, we've come a long way since then. Um, now, getting onto the more personal stuff. Um, this is my first Barbie that I got when, I don't know, I must have been like, oh, that's a bit too I don't know, I must have been maybe like um, six or seven. And she's keys, hence the glasses. And say hi. She doesn't have a name either. I don't. I didn't use her name, my Barbie. She she can ice skate as well. She's a ballerina. This is good. So she's got a friend who um, um, I bought in um, Disneyland. Um, this is the snake, and it's really cool because you can put it around your neck like that, like a scarf. And they they she writes on the snake like this. Hang on, like that. Woo! Uh, she lost her ring there, but I made her one with a little bit of wire. And she lost one of her socks as well, because this is the fabric one. But she lost that one, so I made it with a bit of toilet paper. And I think it, it was pretty good invention at the time. And I still think it is pretty good invention now. So I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, I call them cuckoos. Cause one one got stolen from my door. Um, after Christmas, when I came back from home, um, it was gone, and yeah, I'm very happy about that. But this is Coco number one, and it's the red one, and that's Coco number three. And there are the footprints of Coco number two, but got stolen, and I'm not happy about that.